opportunity to take it and show it out here. Nobody really knows what it is. What's up guys? We are back and we are on the road heading to North Houston. We're going to deliver Ed Oliver his car, 2023 Dodge Challenger SRT Superstock. This car is fast as fuck. Uh, not a whole lot of people know about the Superstock. When, when, you know, when these cars first came out, 2020, Dodge was quiet on the announcement of them. They're kind of a cross between a, a Red Eye and a Demon. Uh, they only made about 1,500 of them, so you know, rare car. Uh, not a whole lot of people know about them, but they are these guys the, the ultimate drag car, I would say, uh, in, in, in production. 2023 is obviously the last year of it, but if you guys can get your hands on one of these, uh, it's it's a hell of a lot of fun. We added a lot more recoil to this car. This is our high caliber package: heads, cam, headers, three liter Whipple. Uh, it's tuned on E85. Other goodies. Ended up making 11.11 to the wheels. building it we had a lot of fun working with Ed on this car we got a badass burnout video <laughs> hit to his house before delivery we took this out on the road uh, for quality control testing just make sure everything was was right felt right we did a 60 to 160 pull on it and like I said guys this car is fast it's scary fast uh, the 60 to 160 pull our first attempt you know we stabbed the pedal and we're just bouncing off the rev limiter uh, you know the car catches the higher gear we let off get back into it it doesn't pull as hard because it stays in that higher gear it stays in that upshift uh, so we tried it again and we rolled into the 60 had a smoother transition from there and we hit a 558 five, I mean this car is fully capable of fours uh, but put a tire on this thing on a prep track hot track and it connects and all that power gets to the ground and I mean you're in for a fucking ride this thing's a rocket uh, that's what it's made for it's what we're gonna recommend like I said it gets kind of squirrely on the roads but uh, you put a tire on this thing and get it on a track and there's not a whole lot of cars that'll compete with it uh, so we'll see Ed here in a little bit at his house uh, I'm excited to uh, to get his driving impression on it and uh, see what he thinks. What's up guys? All right, we're just outside of Beaumont. We're about an hour away from uh, Huffman see Ed deliver his car to him. Lotion's Tow rigs ran out of gas, so we're going to throw up. No meat, no problem. Our taco that of the month, good. the devout taco, taco is packed with double potatoes, double beans, egg, and cheese. And it will have you feeling deep levels of commitment. The devout taco is just $3.49, and it's only here at Speedy Stop. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we're probably an hour away from Ed's house, heading to Huffman. Um, tow rig ran out of gas. We're gonna fill her up here and get back on the road and get this delivery done. Got some drinks, too. Some some drinks. We got some. What we got? We got uh, uptime. You got a Gatorade. You got a Gatorade. 
I got, a, I got an energy drink. Yep. And a nutty buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saw, bro. Oh shit, I'm supposed to turn right there. Hold on a second. Now we're 15 minutes away. Fuck. Alright guys, we were 10 minutes away, but I missed a turn, so now we're 15 minutes away. That's a bad ride, oh, dude. Yeah, that's a bad ride. I was <laughs> it, talking about the drive. That yeah. thing is that thing is fucking fast, dude. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, that thing. Hey, what's, what's going up? Great. Nice to meet you, Ed. Yeah. Nice I'm Pedro. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Are you good with filming? Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, dude. We took it. Uh, we took it out just to check everything uh, before we halted, before we loaded it up, and did a 60 to 160 pull, man. And it was bad. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. You can't really stab the gas on this. I would, I would put get it. Get wicked. Yeah, yeah, it gets a little squirrely. I'll put a tire on it, dude. Get a tire on this thing and get it on a track. Yeah. There's not, there's not anything that's gonna be able to touch it. Uh, hey, well, I'm scared of going fast. <laughs> I like to make smoke cloud and then after smoke cloud, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 61 is a little too fast for me. <laughs> <laughs> I like things that can go fast. I don't necessarily like to go yeah, fast. You're gonna love this thing. Man. You drove it. We, we, you drove yeah, it. Shot? Yeah, I drove it. It was yeah. scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely scary. We'll get unloaded. everything loose back it off the trailer and get it in the garage Okay, 
I ended up spending like 50 in just aftermarket paint and you got bumpers. And the bumpers was high as hell. Yeah, you didn't cheap out on anything. That's all. That's all top shit. Yeah. Because they have it badged as a red red eye. That, that's what they have it badged as, but it's, it's a but superstar. It's not a red eye. It's a superstar. Yeah. So even in the, uh, you know, even in the, uh, they got the red eye. In the demons, they have the demon demon print, and yeah. here they have the, the Hellcat. So that's a, yeah. It's yeah. It's a funky. It's a funky car. Yeah. Nobody. Root. When I, when I say I got a superstar, I just say red eye because I don't like explaining yeah. what it is. Yeah. Cause it, it's like in between that. Car. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's fast. It's, it's fast. Don't it's fast it and it's not a lot of it. <laughs> so I didn't really want to modify, but then I like fuzzy. This car is made for the track, man. Right. It's fun. You want to drive it real quick? Yeah. That's right. This looks like a good road. <laughs> Thing just bust loose, dude. <laughs> nasty. It's trying to group, it just can't. We were at 105 and the traction light came on and it cuts your throttle off. Yeah, Jerry was like, drive with the traction char all the way off. I was like, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get used to it first. Now he was like, because I guess when you smashing on it, you don't want it to cut power and then send it all back. Yeah. And then, like, I guess, starving it from fuel, he was like, that's the worst thing you can do. Yeah. All right. But once it gets that traction, dude, it teleports. Especially when you get in it and really get on it, it's nasty. Nasty. Yeah, it's nasty. I just want to, just want to take it and show it off here. <laughs> Nobody really knows what it is. Like what I say, I like shit to go fast. I got a red eye and the damn track hog. I daily drive the track hog, so I like shit to go fast. I just don't necessarily go fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brakes, tires, everything. I was taking the wrap off earlier. That's what I was doing when I was waiting. Yeah. I know exactly where it's leaking at. Yeah, we just we do a look over on it. And... This bitch so bald. Yeah. And I was in the <laughs> shit. I had it in the snow. Well, really, I had it in Buffalo, and I wasn't driving it. Well, I was driving. I drove the tires off of it. Right before I left, I had the tires and the brakes ordered, and then we lost in the playoff. So it was like, well, I don't need that. I just put it on the. I put it on the. Uh, on the transporter trailer and they took it. I said, oh well, no tires, no brakes, okay. I love this damn car. Yeah, that's... Top five, well, yeah, not even that's... top five, that's gotta be top two of my favorite cars. It's unexpected. Yeah. It's just... Then when you debash that whole, then it's it, like, it, really it's, like... It all goes to the ground. This bitch getting a little squirrely though. You would be surprised. Because you gotta put tires on it. You got these bald ass tires. Man, when you put tires on it, it don't even matter. <laughs> it still get a little squirrely. That's how I knew it was fucked up. When it stopped getting a little squirrely, I said, ah, something ain't right. <laughs> that bitch runs hard. I'm talking about They're fun, they're a lot of fun. And it's reliable. Yeah. I just go right back to it, crank it, go, drive it every day. Yeah. Then, anyway, y'all can load it. Might need a new fucking motor here. <laughs> I don't know. You gonna put this on the blog too? <laughs> <laughs> put Ed Oliver works on his own cars. Did <laughs> he go drive it? Huh? Yeah, he went and drove it. Drove around the block. Woke up all the neighbors who were taking an early evening rest. I could hear from far away. 
Shit, get y'all ass up. <laughs> Make sure you drive it with the chiller on as much as you can. You know, you need on it, and um, you got to run E85. Right now it's 4 E85 on, uh, but don't run that car on a quarter tank of gas. Under a quarter tank? Yeah. Yeah, if it's, got, if it's got a quarter tank of gas, you can drive it. Just don't hammer on it? Yeah, because it's so, it, it'll push all the fuel to the back of the tank. It'll suck air through the line. I don't want that. Oh, shit. I wouldn't even think yeah. about nothing like that. Yeah. You can get some better tires. I mean, those are those are good, but the car is still overpowered. You can get some slicks or something. Just be careful. I don't know. It's, it breaks loose in all of the things. Yep. The other thing I want to tell you is that if you really need to drive it with the traction control off. And That's crazy a, that. I, rem I remember that. I turned it off as soon as I got in there. Yeah, but you hold it on, right? Yeah, hold it for five seconds and then, well, and then it's going to flash on the screen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All the way off. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, everything look good over here? Yeah, ecstatic. Alright, what are you doing with the track hook? Just give me a brief. Uh, well, when y'all get it, y'all gonna, obviously, when you listen to it, it got an exhaust leak. And okay. then sometimes the bell slip, and I think the I think the, the spark plugs, I don't know, some, something is off with it. It ain't, it ain't running how it used to run. Or maybe I got used to it, but when y'all get it, maybe I might find something ain't necessarily right with it. Cool. If not, if, if it's everything check out, then everything check out. I mean, but me, just me driving every day, I think so. I think it's not running as hard. Yeah. Does it have an engine light or anything like that? Nah, it don't have no engine light or nothing like that. Okay. It just at one point that bit was running harder. Now it's not running that hard. Get that switched up for you. I don't think that's a good system, but let me look at it. Yeah. All right. All right, dude. All right, cool. You don't need tires. All you need is all-wheel drive. <laughs> See? All-wheel drive. Still go straight. <laughs> That's what happens when you go to Buffalo. Buffalo don't know nothing about a track hawk. <laughs> I say track hawk, they say trail hawk. I say no, I said track hawk. Trail hawk? Track hawk. Drive better with them tires on there. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Make it make make me feel like make me feel like I almost can't handle it, but I can. I wonder if that's a good thing though. Yeah, it get a little squirrely, make me feel like I'm driving a two wheel drive, but then it just catch with the front tires, make it, and then you know what I'm saying? And then you realize it's all wheel drive. Clean everything up, attention to detail, make sure that we get it home safe, back to the shop safe, diagnose it, figure out what's going on, and give it a little more recoil. You know what? I'll do all the work. Okay, you yeah, I'll, I'll be, I'll just sit there in your cozy spot. Yeah, I got you. All right, guys, we are leaving Ed's house. Had a good meeting with him, good delivery. He's uh, very happy with the result and to have his car back. After conversation, we talked about his track hawk quite a bit. He mentioned that uh, it's not running like it used to. It has light mods on it, headers and a tune. Uh, we're gonna take a look at it, see if there might be an exhaust leak. Um, and uh, you know, do a once over on it. Definitely need some tires. Tires are bald as shit. So uh, we're gonna get it all right, fixed up. Maybe add a little more recoil to it and uh, get it right back to them. This this was gonna be a quick turnaround. We got about two hours to get back to the shop, and that's a plus customer service there for you guys. A lot of horsepower. We love horsepower and we love customer service. Do you need a uh, more Pepto or do you still have a bottle? Uh -huh. I still have my bottle here. Still have your bottle? I do. You gotta chug it or what? <laughs> Pull it short on the camera, dude. Chug it. I got my bottle over here. Yeah, this is just real life, guys. Yep. This Last is... time was camera, and now it's me. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, now it's Pedro. Yep. Alright, guys, we're about 28 minutes from the shop. It's been an easy drive up until the construction zone on I-10. Some people just don't know how to drive, man. Especially some of these rigs. Swerving all over the place. We got about fucking eight feet to deal with. We're all hauling shit. Stay in the lane, bro. That's it? Yeah. Stay in your lane! Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> God! <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
All right, guys, we made it back to the shop, safe and sound. We're gonna un unload the uh, tricop tomorrow and get to work on it. It's... Yo. We just got another YouTube For what? A black wing at 9.30. He's like, hey man, sorry to call you so late, but I'm just blown away from this uh, black wing video. <laughs> <laughs> the Media post, baby. All right, good deal. <laughs> When's he coming? <laughs> yeah, attaboy. All right, hey, I'm going to call you right back. Okay. All right, they're getting back to the shop. All right, bye. Business goes on, 9.30 at night, it's been a long ass day, we got here at 8. Alright, keep going with your video. Alright, let me start over, let me no, start over. Just keep going. going. Alright guys, we're back at the shop, we made it back from North Houston, we got the track hawk. I'm able to hear you, go. In action. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're, 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 we're back at the shop. It wasn't, wasn't too bad of a drive. Made it back. You know, it was a four-hour turnaround total. Wait, more, more, miles more than that. Denali. Yeah, because we're stopped. Yeah. yeah, you guys traveled for, I'm going to tell you how long you just traveled for. I got it right here. Let's see. Location, trips. You guys traveled 284 miles, six that hours. That was the Pepto Bismol stop right there. Uh, we didn't talk about that. We don't have to talk about that. Uh, yeah, you traveled for six hours. Six today. hours. And tomorrow, that whole Denali's going right back to Houston. It wasn't that bad. We're tired though. We're gonna we're gonna keep the track hawk on the trailer until tomorrow morning. We'll have some more energy to unload it, get it in the shop on a lift, and uh, go from there. Let's see. Uh, We'll see what build plan we can put together on that one. But guys, keep up with the recoil on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, at Recoil Racing. And more content coming. Atta boy. Thanks for handling the business.